Cool. All right. Wow. Here we go. All right. Well, good evening, everybody who's going to be joining us. I am Elizabeth Keegan, game art faculty here at the Columbus College of Art and Design, and I'm really, really excited to be um, sort of hosting the very first live preview behind the scenes of 100 hours till launch. Um, we have a six student team that for the first time is developing a card game around the topic of crunch culture in the video game industry. So without further ado, I'm gonna spin it over here, but I'm gonna give you kind of a bit of a structure of how this evening is going to work. So we're gonna start with gameplay, so you get a chance to see the game unfold with a first uh, live audience that's never played the game before, so that'll be really exciting. And uh, Noah McKee is going to be showing us how that's gonna uh, unfold, so that's really cool. Uh, afterwards, we are going to do a um, Q&A session, um, and we're also gonna have an uh, introductions of the team members uh, to hear a little bit more about what their role is in developing the game and learn about why they're actually making a game around crunch culture and what the challenges have, what challenges have been presented throughout that process. Okay. So I'm gonna hand it on over to you, Noah. I'm gonna well, as the wonderful Professor Keegan just said, my name is Noah McKee. I'm a senior illustration major here at CCAD, along here with a few of my friends who are going to play this game with me. I'm the illustration 2D art lead for this game. We're going to be bringing back the people who have worked on this in a minute after we've gone through some playthrough. But first, let me give you a minute to explain how this game works and how we'll be playing it. So, laid out before me, I have one of our dear friends, Lottie, who I will be playing today. We are all playing 100 Hours to Launch, our brand new game that we're making currently. And in this game, we are playing as indie game devs. I know, fun. So these characters are working on their second new game coming out after the successful launch of their last game, Overclocked. We're in the final five days before launch. This is a crucial, critical time where usually industries will start to perform, you know, a lot of crunching, big crunch culture in that time, people will be working from 50 to 80 hours a week to be able to get something done. So in order to simulate that, we have these wonderful little tokens here. Mine are pink because pink is fun. This little bar at the top is where you will have your time tokens because this bar simulates the progression of a whole day. Each little cube is representing two hours within that day, totaling up to, what is it, 24? I think that's how many hours are in a day. So yes, we get to go through that experience. Be very specific here because specificity is fun. Um, Lottie is our director, and her favorite game is competitive Call of Duty. In her off time, she likes to own noobs. So <laughs> we also have a few other really awesome characters here with us. Uh, Kaden, who is a programmer, not programmer, designer, going to design our game. Stefani, our artist, and Tyrone, our programmer, the real one. So, uh, and the way that these characters will help us be able to play the game is that we get to spend their hours during the day in rounds to complete jobs. They're working on jobs to complete their game. So we'll go round one by one, starting off with me at the director's position, spending my cube, then going around the table to get to our next two hour block. We'll keep on spending to be able to complete jobs. However, as you've noticed, there are modifiers near the top that show something's going to happen. If I were to play on this cube during my break when Latte needs to, maybe uh, Lottie needs to drink a latte, <laughs> or even just take a breather or watch some YouTube. Uh, she needs to play some competitive Call of Duty. Needs to play some competitive Call of Duty on her new phone. I know they have a new phone app. Um, but if she were to not take her break and not take the time, she will get this little negative modifier here which drops her morale. You can see down at the bottom there's this sliding scale of faces, happy faces down to frown. That is your morale bar. It indicates how the character is feeling, what's going on in their day, and you know their general mood, as you can see, changing from really happy to really not so great. So that represents how people will push through and do things that are not healthy for their mental health and not really productive for the team either, but they are spending time to complete jobs, which is the main focus. Um, and that's the dangerous you know, dual sword of crunching. So in order to complete jobs, you need to go to your job. And thus we have the commuter cards. Everyone has things that happen in their life 
uh, at home. Usually they have lives away from work, I hope. <laughs> and at those lives, things will happen. You can't expect everything to be the exact same every single day. Uh, so we have little cards here that will basically show you how your life is being altered during that day. So during one day, you can be really happy, and during another, you can have something bad happen, like your sister uh, just having a really crappy time and t calling and texting you all night long. So that'll represent getting to work. And as I stated before, we are here to complete jobs. These are our job cards. They are here to show off kind of the workflow that would happen in industry. Let me shift this down a little bit more. Uh, and we play it like so. This little number here, because we always start our jobs from left going to right, as indicated by this arrow, and you have to complete this job first before moving forward and unlocking it here to get to the next job. Um, in order to complete jobs, you need to match this number here. This little file, number of hours, number of cubes that it takes to complete something. So we would need six cubes played out by the entire team to be able to complete this job and to move over to complete the next job. Now, why do this? Well, because we're going for these points down here at the bottom. In order to get these stars, we have to complete both of these jobs to complete the entire job card. That'll help us out because the goal of the game is to get the best rating for your game possible by getting a highest star value. For every seven stars, you get to move up a different rank. This is like five out of five on IGN, Metacritic, things like that, being able to show what your game is like. However, if I'm not so successful or our team is not so successful at completing a job, say I just put down one and then the day ends, that's our time limit, is one day. And that's usually not enough. So what would happen? <laughs> Failed. That's right. This was basically the, why, okay, camera. This is basically like when you die in Grand Theft Auto and you get the big <laughs> Wasted. Wasted. <laughs> so <laughs> this is to indicate People will notice when certain jobs are not completed in a game. There will be bugs, there will be glitches. This one here says, they really think they can get away with all the bad graphics? It's just so unappealing visually, so why play? Minus one morale for this bad job. This will not only take away a few stars from you in the end, but also be negative for your people who are working on something. They don't want to hear that people think that their game is not fun. So, complete jobs. Well, while you're completing jobs, your boss is always watching. Never not watching, always watching. And as such, we have email cards. Lottie, the director, will receive these emails from our CEO telling us how great of a not job we are doing. Um, so we'll receive emails that will affect the day. Presented to us like this, everybody loves getting a stressful email from their boss. <laughs> I know, I sure do. <laughs> That's never terrified me on any occasion, but... Uh, this will modify how our day will go, what sort of things happen uh, during that work day. Now that's drawn in the morning and after break. Something that can pop up near the end of the day, however, are our wonderful bug cards. Yeah, I know you love that. That's a great sound. <laughs> I want to hear that when I'm working on a game. There's a bunch of things skittering around in my computer. Um, so bugs will happen, they pop up in games when indie developers are working on things, and even big companies. <coughs> I, don't need to, I don't need to say it, we all know. Um, but yes, you interact with the, this is again upside down. Uh, you interact with the card, this will stop you from working on a job. So say I have this really difficult one, but I pull a bug card, it'll stop me from working on that, and I have to fix the bug before I can move forward. So, it's important to get those done and completed and out of the way. So you work together as a team to complete stuff. This is a team-based game. We're all here and in this together. Um, and I think that with that, we can begin. So to start the round, you get to go to work. You get to go to work. You get to go to work. work and before we move forward, if you would like to introduce yourselves for as our first playtesters live, feel free. You can start off here. As ourselves or as our characters? You can do both. <laughs> I'm Grace Thorson. I'm playing Caden, whose favorite game is Neopets. Hi, I'm Kara. Uh, I'm playing Stefani, and the favorite game is Mass Effect. My name's John. I'm playing as Tyrone. I love asking people's parents' whereabouts and stuff while playing multiplayer games. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Animal Crossing, the best, the best multiplayer game where you get to ask people where they're from. <laughs> I'll find you. I know. <laughs> Tyrone's gonna get you. <laughs> I know where you live. <laughs> no. So we all have gotten to work in a specific manner. Uh, if you want to start reading off here, Caden, we'll refer to each other by our characters' names. All right. You really feel burnt out. When you get to work, you <laughs> keep pitching bad ideas because your brain is fried. Uh, minus one more L because burnout sucks. Yeah. I can attest to that. Yeah. All right. Mine says, when you get to the office, someone is arguing about a touchy subject. Tell a coworker they are wrong. Lose a morale of the the first time you work with the coworker you told was wrong. You are wrong. <laughs> I think all our games should feature mac and cheese and only mac and cheese. You are wrong. Incorrect. <laughs> Moral. It's overcooked, but with just mac and cheese the whole time. <laughs> What's next on the docket? I get too attached to one of your projects and furiously tap the table. Whenever you aren't working in frustration. I can't work on another job until I finish the one I chose to focus on. Because it feels so good to finish it. So plus one morale when that job is done. It's kind of like Hunter's Mark in D&D. You're like, I'm going to get you. And you just focus on them the whole time. So the layout. And then they die and you forget to put on a new person. <laughs> right, you forgot to move it over. Laura Bailey. Agony. Oh, underneath the... Uh, yeah, okay, cool. I have no idea what's going on, but yes. Um, How do you get to work? Oh, you, gold card underneath there. So yes, we have one here. Oh, you will never know. You don't know where I... Uh, you'll never know. <laughs> All right. Uh, my boss let me bring my dog to work. Stay focused, but hey, it's your buddy. Uh, bark every third bark or fourth word. <laughs> so yeah, that'll allow me to boost bark. My morale, Lade has a wonderful, uh, I'm going to say Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He Chihuahua is bark. Great. That's not a show. I might have to put <laughs> my morale down <laughs> for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect during Call of Duty, yes. So, explaining <laughs> is going to be a little <laughs> difficult. We have a difficult job here. Eh, maybe not so bad a one here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Calm down, Fifi. <laughs> she can sense arguing. All right. Well, I'm going to get to work on a job. This is pretty chunky. I'm going to take a chunky one. Is that we have an email? Crap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the email. The thing I explained earlier and should know is going to happen. The dog um, got in the way. In the last file you sent me, I spotted an obvious glitch. Did you not run this by the programmer before sending it to me? <laughs> Oops. Put a bug on one programming job. We have a pro we do have a programming job. All right. So that's going to take a minute. First bug. If you want to read that. Your character's mesh was colliding with itself and making a hilarious expression. Make a funny face until you resolve this card. Do I have to make a funny face? Yep. <laughs> so this is... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Give me something good. There you go. You can stare at me the whole time. I'm not gonna... You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna fix it. Okay. First two hours of my day is resolving that issue. Um, you get to spend one cube to save your character's face, but gain one morale from uh, showing the team. So everybody got to see that. I know this is probably upside down. It is. Like but that's I where you're going to... get the morale for showing the team. <laughs> you should get the morale for showing the team. You do. Yeah. So, there we go. Put a cube on the bug. It's gone. All right. You may continue on. All right. So I'm going to get started working on this job. I'm going to start on this job because I care about my morale. Oh my I lose one if I work with you. <laughs> you also lose one just now for, for working in the morning. Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm man. not a morning person. I'll help you. I'm a morning person, all right? Actually, I'm not, but still. All right. 
Cool. Well, we're done through the first two hours of I Day. We're working. We're doing it. Yeah. Um, New pitch. All of our characters wear glasses. All of them. <laughs> 3D glasses. I was going to say, so they're going to have super, like, really boof. We're going to know that they can see everything very boof. Well, <laughs> but no, 3D glass. All right. You don't need phone <laughs> Keep on working on that. Me, me. All right. I guess I'm going to work solo. I don't get my plus one because it's not the first one. Are we done with the plus one? Nope, we nope, still got, we got two more, oh, two more to go. Work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to be hitting that desk. Yeah. The desk is yours now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like, cool. So we got through that one. Time for boof, break. I'm going to be on break. Boof. That's right, Fifi. Uh, you do what you want. I'm going to be on break. I'm going to work through break. There you go. Go get him. Yeah. Go get him. Go. Boof. All right. That job complete. We just got to unlock the next one. Very nice. Let me, you know what? Keegan asked me to do. Professor Keegan asked me to do a thing. Let me do that thing that Professor Keegan asked me to do. Yay. <laughs> We can see what we're working for now. <laughs> Is it up? Uh, to you. Oh, it's you? my turn. Ooh, coffee break. What's yeah. your chosen uh, what's your chosen job you picked? Uh I can't remember. True to Hunter's Mark, yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean I'll it would work. be this one, you're yeah, working I like, on it. I don't like coffee anyway. <laughs> Good. Get your boost to morale. Yeah. You've earned it. There you go. Cool. Well, We've gotten through our break. This is wonderful. And we completed a job, which is extra good. Um, which is why, team, I I hate to tell you this. Boof. I've been thinking. Who even plays games anymore? I do. Kids these days are always on their phones. No one cares about games. Maybe we should make an app instead. An app that does stuff. Yeah, actually, it should be an app. Reshuffle your two active job cards back into the deck and draw two new ones. Oh. Hey guys, I know you did a real great job um, spending your time on those jobs. That hurts me physically. Yeah, I know, doesn't it? I feel good somehow though. <laughs> Getting some. My morality is just on top notch. I, I am on fire. <laughs> that one job that you cared about all day long and you're just like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Your boss just junks it. And you're like, yeah. Uh, I didn't Yay, think it just wasted that. four hours or six hours. <laughs> now that the game's an app, yeah. Now that the game's this app, it should be all about making spaghetti, not actual spaghetti, just the noodles. <laughs> just. I mean, that's what spaghetti. Is. <laughs> it's like Fruit Ninja, but you're just cutting up strips. <laughs> <laughs> Bark. <laughs> that's like the dog talk. Yes. I, I can tell my dog is excited for it. I don't think I don't think we're gonna complete a six five job. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do work on I'm gonna start working here. Assign sound to background uh, menu and effects. Yeah. You know what? It sounds like a fun game. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna be barks. <laughs> gonna be boof and wild. I lose two morality on this one because I'm working with you, and I don't like working after my coffee break. You could take a break. <laughs> You don't have to do this. Take a break. <laughs> Look at her. I'm not happy. <laughs> Look at her face. She's tired. She I feel should... that. <laughs> sure. Huh? I'll try. Mm. That's not very good. You know, CEO, CEO's an ass. I don't want to work. <sighs> Just going to skip this one. Just skip this one. Mark, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. No, you're good. Uh, oh, no. It's nearing the end of the day. What's gonna happen? Oh no! Oh, I'm I'm excited. Are you? We're getting some more of that furious table tapping. Are you ready? Thankfully, you caught this bug in time, and in Woo! doing so, it gave you an idea. Spend one cube to solve the bug and make the blocked job card cost two cubes less. Oh. I mean, what? Uh, which one we want to do? The one we're working towards. One we're working towards. All right. Um, I can resolve this now. Does anybody else want to? Yeah, I can. I can take this one. Boop. Look at that. Look at that. Just magic. I'm going to put that here. That's four down. And we get our little extra cube here. 
to unlock this bad boy. Ah. We're doing it. I like it this app. Um, I'll work and take one minus morale. Because I have a new uh, game idea. <laughs> I think the main character should communicate solely in soup slurps. I'm seeing a lot of food based things here. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a break after that one. Yeah. <laughs> An important thing to note, as you see, my character here has pretty okay morale. They're right about here. I have a few job cubes left. If I were to have worked, however, through the entire day, not like used that one up and used these two up, Lottie would have to take a break the next day because that's 24 hours with no sleep. And while some people can do that, it's really not great for their health and will put them out. If my morale were to get as low as poor Steph uh, Stefani's is, and she were to tank, I would also have to miss an entire day to yet, get your mental health back up. So it's a dangerous game you're playing here right now, Stefani. <laughs> I'm still in the orange. <laughs> I mean, you should work. There's no negative effects if you work right now. No, I said I'm taking a break after your terrible idea. Oh. <laughs> it was just oh. my oh. idea. That one's on you. The bird. Yeah, it says you're doing terrible ideas. <laughs> I know. Go for yeah, it. I'm taking a break, so it's your turn. Uh, oh, yeah, you're on the uh, oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Yes. We're finding it. I have a new idea. <laughs> oh, it's not even the time. It's not the time now. <laughs> you're just doing this to spite us. Mark! <laughs> Chihuahuas become like a medium sized dog. Mark! Mark! <laughs> roar! Growl! Maybe. I'm sorry, my dog was actually a Pokemon. I evolved it. <laughs> um, so yes, we're in the night phase. This is when people would like to go to sleep, um, specifically Lottie. It takes three more to get done what we need to get done. Do you think we can do it? I mean, I can do it. I'm pretty good on morale. Can't do it now, but I can do it later. <laughs> I, I'm doing okay. And it Burke, seems like Stefani's not doing great. So I'm going to put in a little bit extra time just for you to make sure that we have menus and other uh, UI elements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want people to be able to press start on my game. So do we only need two more? We need two more. Okay. I'll take a break right now and take one later. I need to take a break. Otherwise, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> I think she already has. No, there's no tears on this one. Oh. Hey, make a design note. <laughs> yeah, there's no tears on this uh, one. I'm just kind of holding it in. You need to imagine you in a corner, just like just too much spaghetti, too much soup. <laughs> oh, I'm barfing. <laughs> no. Good. I go home. Get yeah. some rest. Have some coffee. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Some nighttime coffee to have a nice sleep. Yeah, coffee. I, I, I sleep well about drinking coffee. It's okay. Cool. All right. Back to me. Yeah, get some I'm, sleep. I'm going to bed. I, yeah. I would bark. Yeah. I went to bed, but at 2 a.m. I woke up really motivated, so. <laughs> Haven't had it. Yeah. Rest. I mean, I can do <laughs> it. I, I artists stay up longer than usual. Oh, holy crap! We did it. We did it. <laughs> we Woo! got we got a job. Oh, I thought that was gonna be pretty pretty tough to do. Um, but hey, there's that. So this is a completed job. And what's wonderful is is once we take off all of these little items here, would you look at that? We got four stars. That's almost seven. <laughs> we we aren't even a one star game right now, but we're doing it. Uh, however, I regret to inform you that job did not get completed, uh, and that is a big old nah. meh. Yeah, you know, people feel pretty meh about our game. What are the pros? You want to read it off? It functions. Good one. Good. <laughs> Do you want to read the cons? Uh, cons. I I can barely read this. I'm sorry. Every How dare too you? Light. <laughs> Everything mechanics are so funky. It says everything. Mechanics are so funky. Everything. The <laughs> mechanics are so funky. You know what? Who programmed this shit? A boogie game. <laughs> You're the That'd be you! Isn't <laughs> <laughs> that just great? I'm gonna start to line out these little star cards here. Um, unfortunate thing. This covers up that because we failed a job. 
and we all lose one morale. Oh, so now I'm crying. No. Yeah, you are in fact someone. Someone wrote that your mechanics just suck, and that's not even your fault. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but hey. Ah, oh. oh. new job, new day. I'm gonna put these out, and we're gonna get to it. Why don't you all hand me your commute cards? Thank you. That was a tough one. You are never, never again will I allow you to. <laughs> yes, of course. Do we Good. get any uh, morale back for it being a morning and we woke up? No. Oh. No, maybe, maybe, if we're lucky. But no, you. I mean, what was your total number of sleep hours? If you want to count the number of hours that you... I got four hours. You got four hours. How, how do you have... Look at that. I don't know color coordination. I'm going to be real right now. All right. This is our groggy wake-up morning routine. Okay. All right. You go to work. And you go to... You shouldn't. Um, <laughs> I'm you go to today. work. Please, you've, you've started doing work in the morning oh, no. every single time for no reason. Oh, <laughs> this one done. again. Yeah. All right, so if you want to start reading your commute cards. You go to work on time but forgot to eat breakfast and overslept and overspent on some food delivery app till the food gets here on break time. You talk in hungry groans. Um, <laughs> so it wasn't a joke about how you being hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have all come right. up with all those bad ideas. It's going to fuel your need to consume. Oh no, you got a headache from staring at the screen too long. Take care of yourself. Can't draw with no eyes. You can't see and need help to place your cubes. Oh no. Can't do jobs with screens. Negative one morale for placing on artist or programmer jobs. Plus oh. one for first half job card completed. Okay. I'm so. gonna let you know the first one we got is a programmer and the last one we got is an artist job. Well, it's plus one morale for first half card defeated. That's so good. I know how you to have your way to come it. back. This I makes sense. This. <laughs> this makes sense because of how hard you work and you come back in and you're like, <laughs> Got it. Let's go. <laughs> Hot dude named Paul teaches oh, me how to do the hot yoga yesterday. Really inspiring. Each turn, I spell a motivational mantra. It could boost everyone's motivation, I hope. Choose a co worker to teach hot yoga and they get one morale. <laughs> <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. Yay! Blind hot yoga. <laughs> Blind hot. Oh yeah, I'm you, supposed to be blind. You really do have yeah, to do the like, thing where like this. you lead the this arms. This is like a single legend character I love. I'm just oh, gonna God. be blind this whole round. Oh no! <laughs> you can... All right. <laughs> you can't even find the hours to place. You exist in a like timeless space. That's like good. Perfect space for yoga. Cool. Uh, I I didn't read off mine. Here we go. Uh, while walking to work, I saw my coworker uh, coworkers post on Twitter. They seem down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Help them and it helps you. Help someone by telling them, it will be okay, really, it will be. I know you ain't got no eyes and you just learned yoga, <laughs> yeah. but it's gonna be okay. Blind yoga and praise, does that oh, boost morale? Oh, you know what? I actually, I wanna see this blindness play out, but I feel like you've been hungry long enough. I am able to remove uh, your your uh, negative modifier, so. I can do it. You You're can go good. ahead with blindness. All right. I wanna... that's just if I don't take my break. Yeah, you know, I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to let her <laughs> do what she's doing. It's good. We're good. You're I think you're fine. You're not going to let the blindness go? No, you got this. All right. I know that's horrible, but I want to see what happens. What? All right. We've received our email for the day. Surprise meeting. We need to discuss some things. Everyone puts their break cube on this card. One player may put a cube on any job of their choosing. So everyone, when it comes time to break, we all have to take a surprise meeting. Oh. I'm sorry. Did you want me to fix yes. that for you now? Okay. <laughs> You're gonna. We'll get you food. <laughs> it's only been one day. I, I'll take it to Starbucks. I don't like Starbucks. <laughs> You're going anyway. It's gonna be all right. Maybe one morale. <laughs> Negative one for your coworker, really not getting it. Um, 
We can start doing our thing now, though, so... Here we go. Bam. Bam. <clears throat> I, I can't see. I don't know <laughs> facial cues. Use yoga. All right, what is it? Is it... Here you go. Here I'm going to suggest... Is it positive or negative? It's negative. Suggest... Okay, then I'm taking a break. Take I'm coming okay, to the plate. <laughs> Listen to Sahamu. Oh, how much time? Okay, three. Oh, I think I can do this. Yeah. yeah, we're already through it. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna finish that. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna let that one take care of that. Here we go. If if Stefani would like to complete one of these jobs and get herself some more morale. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait, it's Caden's turn. When it first. when it gets to, I don't yes. want to slam my hand down. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Wait. Grab. Take the hand. Take the hand. It's Work this together. One? This one. It's this like one? the crane yes. game. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, right here. Oh, right, right, right on this one. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> oh, that hour's gone. <laughs> Stuck to my finger. All right. You're gonna have to also help her feel better. Move her morale up. <laughs> now you're gonna have to scale it. The... Wait. There you go. Do your best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You feel the light guiding you in a mysterious way. <laughs> There's so much darkness around me, though. I can't see. Hello, darkness, my Good. friend. Okay. We've gotten to break. I'm going to take my break, if that's all right. Wait, hold on. It's actually Tyrone's turn. You have turn. to go to the surprise, surprise meeting. meeting. That's right. Well, it's Tyrone's turn. I'm on fire today. Oh, my gosh. I actually like that quote. You're doing great. <laughs> hey, everybody. Surprise meeting. Um... <laughs> Very close to crying. <laughs> yes. so sorry, but uh, you know what? Well, we gotta help. We gotta help Stefani again. <laughs> You're doing it. Yep. This one. Yep. All right. How far am I going? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. And your turn is right here. <laughs> Little did you know, this game is actually a hazard. <laughs> a physical hazard. Yes. And try my best. Tear on you as well. I'm gonna spend it on the surprise meeting, but. I'm gonna say one of you, a special one of you, gets to select where this cube goes uh, on a job card. Is that special one supposed to be me? It's you. Perhaps. Hold out your hand. You could say I'm a little bit relentless. Here. Here's the cube. Like this. Okay. And then just drop it. We'll see where it lands. Oh, wow. That was perfect. <laughs> lands on this one. You. 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 Good. Good. <laughs> I can't words good, but. Thank you. Yes. Um. All right. We get another email. Oh, joy. <laughs> We've received an irate review from a playtester. It said our game was boring. But you, why don't you read it out? Boring, broken, stupid, and dumb. I told you spaghetti is dumb. Don't let that happen again. Okay. All design cards require one more hour. Oh, whoa, whoa, no. Well, Is that that's, me? uh, nope, that's this next one we gotta work on. So that's become a six hour job. Mm. Grand. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Don't you just, you know, don't you just love working at a, at a game studio? Honestly, no. I'm gonna work it, on this. It cost one. me my eyes. <laughs> Miss my job. At least you got she has insurance. cataracts. <laughs> Come out of here with a double eye patch. <laughs> like, I'm hey, ready you to gotta go. wear a cool blindfold, though. <laughs> and this, this is actually VR. That for his blindfold. We'll give you tarot cards so you can wear a blindfold and give out tarot I'll cards. I'll just feel the energy off them. Yeah. All right. So suck on it. Oh, it's you. You, you, you want to okay. take a break? Because it positive or negative? Negative. negative. I'm taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tarot. Oh, yep. you're, not, you're not moving her stuff. <laughs> I'm How confused. dare you? I'm colored. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, like this, I like this ninja stuff. Uh, we are currently on the this one right after break. So take one. a negative. Oh, okay. negative. Not a yep. lot. <laughs> All right. Full of negative. Negative sucks. Okay. Yep. Well, it's it's a wonderful thing that we we dodge that time because let's figure out what we have as a bug. Oh no. Uh, why don't you read this off? Someone managed to download malware into each computer. Yes. Each player spends one cube amidst a fault and loses one more round. <laughs> I want to say that the person who 
who couldn't really tell what they were doing might have done it. But yeah, I wonder who. <laughs> Don't at me. I worked so hard, I lost my eyes. Yeah, effort doesn't reflect the result. I'm okay. Sorry. We will get. I will. I will. I would like to take the time to to resolve that, seeing as how I am doing well, and also. I'm the director. I, I don't need to know. I was looking for better email sites to make like better emails happen so they look nicer, like pretty fonts. But um, just got some gooses running on my screen. <laughs> you know me. That is not porn. Okay. <laughs> me too. Yeah. I gotta take a break. Uh, I right. gotta finally eat something. <laughs> That's fair. It does look as though if that happens. We need three more cubes to complete this job. Good. All right. Is it my turn then? Yes. Uh, is it positive or it's negative? Po it's okay. I mean, it's neutral. Okay. Okay. Drop it. Drop, drop it. it. Drop it. Ah, yeah. Perfect. Wait. Was that? Um... You'll never know. No, I know. Because <laughs> one of them, if I put it on a certain card, it. Uh, you already oh. did that. It. Oh, you, you mean your morale? I'm mocking one. Oh, no, no, the unlocking counts for the first thing. Oh. Um, so, technically... Someone read my actually, you know what? If we want to boost Stefani's morale and take the time and place it in the middle here, it uh, would... I, but she, I, I she think we need to get something, done for, get something done for the day. Yeah, so that, that's what I'm saying. If, if she were to land on here and complete this, she would get plus one. But some of us would have to... You know, put I'm in extra hours. Near oh, nice. tears. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it dropped here. It stays here. You go down one morale. Me? Yep. All right. Are you serious? Okay. Okay. I'll use this finger. Okay, take this one. Go down. Down. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Good. All right. Is it my turn? It is your turn. You're doing fine. I finished this. On nope. the home phase. Different cube. Right? No. What? No, no we're did, good. He did the right cue. We're we good. We good. We do good. All right. All right. We're only one away. Congrats. Oh, right. The crunch. <sighs> mm-hmm. You know what? <sighs> you gotta get some sleep. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you take care of it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> You want me to do it now or after my thing? <laughs> it's up to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. I'm very close to tears. Mm. I need to go cry in my shower. <laughs> Caden, <laughs> Caden does look upset. No food for Caden today. Uh, it's negative for you. All right, then I don't want to go. <laughs> hey, I mean that's a given right now. You seem pretty happy. No, I don't. I, <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not. If I remember, it went up to no. down to. So I'm at the same exact spot. Keeping track. So. That's that was good. All right. It's yeah. fine. That's I'm, up to you. I'm making eye contact with the guy who hasn't lost any morale. <laughs> <laughs> That's called scheduling, man. <laughs> That's called letting your let your coworkers take we're the ball. We're taking the hit. Okay. Oh, oh no, we're seeing again. those dynamics play out. Yeah. All right. Well, up to you. What do you want to do? Go 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 sleep. That's fair. <laughs> Um, so it would take four to complete this one, and it would take one to complete this one. Okay. But if we don't complete this, we do get a negative. Are you serious? Okay. Well, there's no way we can complete both. So you yep. go to sleep. You go to sleep, I guess. <laughs> She's always asleep. I'll always. do this. I mean, to make our sacrifices. It, yeah. Is the minor positive or negative? It's neutral. Yeah. Actually, you know I, what? I want to finish it then. If you want to use that one on there. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. just going to move it for you. <laughs> We're just going to okay. speed that one up. <laughs> no need to help out the final time. All right. If you want to take the time to boost your own morale, though. Nope. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our final moments. You Thank you, y'all. You know what? That was good. What did we complete here? Can I see now? Obtain. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay. After a whole day, uh, oh. symptoms of blindness disappear. Yeah. Uh, obtain dev kits from be... multiple platforms. Edit gameplay to work on all platforms. So hey, it's now an app. It's now an app. Hey, look at that. Oh, We're on right. the Switch. All right. Well, unfortunately, we did not complete a uh, meeting with an investor for a thumbs up on final release. So mm. it's not even happening. We're done. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much. I would, I would read off what we got, but um, 
We're running out of time. We're out of. We're done. We're we're out of time. We've we've reached our limit, or have we? I don't know. That's up for somebody else to decide. Let's wrap it up. It was a tough day. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank, yeah, again, thank you. Grace, Kara, great job, everybody. Good job. <laughs> My eyes hurt so bad. Shut it again. That All was right. the point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap the screen over real quick so y'all can switch over. Our team can uh, switch over here. Uh, I think next time it should be a uh, a bigger dog. Like a yeah. Rot, like a Rottweiler. Rot. E. Actually, uh, no, you, would you be so kind as to put underneath our fancy camera just a picture of one of the uh, characters in the choice of characters? Actually, you can actually take one of the. Tyrone. Tyrone hasn't gotten enough love lately. You can kind of see that. And this is who is, uh, this was who unconscious for the whole thing. <laughs> um. <laughs> This one terrifies people on Animal Crossing, apparently. <laughs> and then good old Neopets, Caden. Okay. Yeah. So let's, um, let's start with some introductions of the team here. If you all want to go around and introduce yourselves, what you're studying, and um, perhaps favorite game, or, well, your role, and then maybe a favorite game. But don't spend too much time with favorite game. That's my question. All right. You can't look at me. I've been talking all day. <laughs> Hey, that you warmed up. Hi. You've never met me. My name is Noah McKee. I'm a senior illustration student here at CCAD and, again, the uh, creative 2D director for uh, – 2D art lead for how this has been going on. Uh, and to my left I have – Hi. I am Catherine Mastoka. I am an animation junior here at CCAD. Uh, when it comes time to make our animated tutorial, I will be our 2D animation lead when we get to – Go into that territory, and my favorite game is Flight Rising, which is Dragon Neopets. It's yeah, real. It's real. It's fun. Came out of here. Actually. Came out of here. Yeah. Uh, I'm Sean with Sean Howard. Uh, I don't have an official official role. I am just being thrown around to do whatever needs to be done at the time. Uh, so I, I'll draw some card backs, some card fronts. Uh, yeah, um, my favorite game I'm gonna go with will be Halo because it's a classic and it's it, I have good memories of it. So yeah. Did you see what you did? <laughs> what I do? What are you studying? Oh, I'm t <laughs> I'm, I'm an animation major. <laughs> <laughs> I study what I need to at the time. Hello, I am Shimani Bowser. I am a 2D animation senior. Uh, and I am helping out as the 2D il illustrative assistant. Um, and my favorite game is Splatoon. Oh, that's a good one. I'm Jennifer Stout, and I am an animation senior. I do a lot of the web stuff and like help with things that I get thrown into. And my favorite game is The Legend of Zelda. Yes. Currently, are, are missing one member. Our glorious leader. Who is that? Do you all want to say it together on the count of three? <laughs> one, <laughs> two, three. Jordan, Jordan Hughes. Yeah. Hughes. Yeah. Jordan Hughes. <laughs> I've never called her by her last name. I don't know. <laughs> Director Hughes. Director. Yep. Do you see she... how lost we are without her? Yeah, <laughs> it hurts. Jordan, if you're watching she this. She, she's been the glue for us all this time. Uh, so what's her major? The Animation glue that makes now. cake. Illustration. illustration. She's illustration. Uh, and what we can guess what her favorite game is. Probably Age of Empires. <laughs> what? Let's no, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Animal Crossing. So yeah. we'll, we'll jump right into questions, if that's okay with y'all. No. Wait, no. That was the first one. Um, <laughs> so um, let's, let's sort of go around and let's ask this big question of like, okay, what is crunch culture? And you know, we're going to stick to the game industry, but also, what is crunch culture? Uh, 
it is when we, as especially artists, we overwork ourselves a lot because we get very passionate about the project and what we're making, and we need to take care of ourselves more. And yeah, Kat, say words now. Oh, okay. I think it's this perception that I'm expected to stay up all night, several nights in a row, to get like a project done to like complete prim like a hundred percent or even just like ninety percent. When in rea- reality, if I just put in normal work hours, it might not be, f- be finished, but I'll still be like alive. So, um, it's an interesting thing that you can see with an industry where you have this focus on uh, hammering through a lot of things and not focusing on taking care of workers or mental health. That's something that can easily be seen as being actually rather false, especially if you uh, see talks from people like, gosh, I can't remember his name currently, despite Mm -hmm. living by many doctrines, um, but uh, creative speakers on leadership in the industry, how that affects people. You can see that even in big head industries that will do things, I bring to mind Sony Animation. Sony Animation was known for doing a lot of really cool, amazing things like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, things like that, very interesting. They would dip down, however, with movies like The Smurfs or with um, the Emoji Movie, which got a lot of net sales, was really cool in terms of money. But it took the um, studio's name down a bit and the workers felt overworked and stressed. When they were given something interesting to work on, given time to do it, um, given like, creative ability to work on something, they made Into the Spider-Verse. And I think we can know how amazing that turned out. So focusing on worker health is actually a benefit to the industry. Nice. Bottom line is effort at the time doesn't always equal better. Mm -hmm. Sometimes break will equal better. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Pacing yourself. Thank you. Um, So that kind of leads into the next thing. Um, where so part of the class, one of the first things that we all did, um, talked a little bit about intent, right? Um, and so we had you all do a manifesto. Um, what do you think was sort of important about that? Why why was it important to create a manifesto as a team? Well, defining a target. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keeping on track. Defining guidelines for ourselves from the beginning that we can keep to throughout the entirety of the project. Yeah. It would also show how well we work together. Yeah. I was going to say, there's a, there's like one, two, three, four, five, close short, six of us, and <laughs> <laughs> I can't do quick math. And, you know, we all go into the thing, we're all very artistic and creative people, so it's good to just have that talk of what are we actually doing instead of Kat going off and doing one thing, you know, Shimani going off and doing another thing, and Me. we get a muddled outcome in the end, where I was just taking that, well, it was only like a day or two that we really had to discuss it, I think, and we were able to come up with now something that made this. Mm-hmm. It's like communication. Yeah. Exactly what Sean's talking about. In order to complete jobs like these and complete them effectively without hurting everybody, you need to know which jobs you want to tackle. To be able to complete this game, you need to communicate. Where am I going to go? Where are you going to go? Why are we going there? Oh, yeah. You got me. Uh, so you need to be really refined in communication because that's important as part of a team. People need to know where they're going. Awesome. So we'll lead into my next question. Um, one of the things that I actually am I'm really excited for this next one to hear your, your thoughts about the making of a game. And I actually um, wanted to have a chance to say that, uh, that I didn't have a chance to say this at the beginning, but I wanted to kind of play towards um, you know, why, why make a game um, instead of another medium? Um, what, do you, what do you think um, are the strengths of uh, working in this way instead of something else or, or not? Stretch your hand, stretch your hand, stretch your hand. I think actually showing, like, a game is something you're experiencing <laughs> and it's going to show you how it is like kind of in the real world to over crunch yourself and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Games are a really cool medium, like mm-hmm. unlike really anything else when you think about it, that really let you get like hands on and experience mm-hmm. things like personal, not something you're just watching or reading. You get to actively participate and start learning lessons like, as you go. Interactivity. Oh yeah. 
Yes. Making the big eye. Oh. Yeah. I was like, I was like what, what are we doing? doing? What's going on here? Don't worry, I, I had a thing I was going to say. I like, for interactivity. Yeah. <laughs> we get to be these characters. In yeah. More than just, like, a fake sense. It's yeah. everything that happens to them is directly happening to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, and that's one of the things, like, all of the commuter cards, all the bug cards, you know, they're, all of them have consequences that most of us have felt. We wrote them from real places. And when you take the cubes off of your job hours and or not your off your character card and put it onto a card that is you making a choice you know and when you at the end of the game you can look at like how successful is your game and how sad are you it's not just being told it it's like like I said interacting with it. it's making that choice and saying like, yay I, I made a game and people like it but I'm too depressed to care because <laughs> I have got I worked hard on class projects and I got the A but I, I don't think I cared a whole lot because it was just, you know, three days of not sleeping and it's yeah, hard it to care about anything. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. worth it at all. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, what, do you, what do you call that um, that moment where that player is making that choice and, and going through that moment? What is that called? Put, put your hand oh, up. Oh, boy. And you're going to do this and you're going to and you put it in the old middle bar there? A. Agency. Agency. <laughs> yeah. So I want to rope this in a little bit because one of the... Um, I forgot to mention our amazing collaborator. Mm-hmm. Who, I know, he's, How could you? He's over here and he's like, no! We got him. Uh, Matt, 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 I'll, I'll stand. I'll stand back. Like here. A That's coach. what I usually do in classes. Yeah. Loom over them and frame them disapprovingly. This is your coach oh, photo. No, no. Like, <laughs> yeah. a team, like a soccer team. Here we are. There we go. So I, I wanted to have an opportunity, um, in addition to sort of asking these questions, having folks talk a little bit about the process. Um, is that we? Part of what's really cool about this project is we're working with a local designer and publisher from Odom Publishing, Matthew Turley. And actually what's really amazing about having that opportunity is that with every session, uh, Matt has kind of put these guys through the ringer in terms of like asking design questions and learning about what these, what the terminology is and what the thinking is beyond um, just kind of creating the aesthetics, which are super important, but ultimately because you're asking somebody to play a game um, and that you are creating a game, it's important to understand um, what it is to build something that is interactive, that there's action and consequence. Um, so I just I wanted to take this opportunity to, to put Matt out in front of the camera. So thank you. I'm glad that I got a chance to do that, but I'm also um, excited to hear that you all are speaking in such an elegant manner. Um, <laughs> and that these, I agree. Boom. And <laughs> we say elegance a lot because elegance is super important. Um, so yeah. Okay. Wait, I got another question. There's questions. You, do, you don't have to I think real quick, the, the best thing that I can say is as the um, professional, uh, I feel like that in a lot of ways, it's okay that I'm behind the camera because they really they like, sort of take up the torch and, and really took all the things that we've talked about and and critiqued them really seriously and you know really move forward with those big ideas and that ethic and sort of apply it to themselves. So you know uh, while I'm sort of guiding the ship, so to speak, they're definitely doing all the hard work and they're really taking the um, everything I've said to you know to heart. So. Like I said, I felt pretty comfortable being back there because I knew that our ideas and our ide- ideals were already very well represented by this, this group of uh, you know, great students, awesome. <laughs> great designers. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We'll do a little golf clap for this one. Yeah, awesome, y'all. Um, so, so we'll roll through that in a way um, to jump right into the next question. So, what um, up until this point, what was one of the biggest challenges for you all? Um, and starting the project? It's, uh, this is a whole game. This is mechanics. This is trying to take something that is complex and Mm -hmm. like a thought-based thing and make it a quantifiable experience and not just any experience. It has to like hit that bullseye that we set. So through all the iteration, that every time we've, we haven't made just this game Guys, we've made seven games at this point, and each one builds up to the next one. Mm-hmm. It's not like we were given a template or anything to work off of. This had to come specifically from all of us and funneled into like one working mechanism. And we've gone with so many ideas only like to throw them out the next week. Mm-hmm. And it's just finding what we want to do with the message like that contains the message we want to portray, 
but still allows for a fun, engaging experience for the player. Because even if we think it's cool, it other people might not like it. So it's like, where's that balance? How do we find it? How do we pin it? How do we put our two hours on it? How do I yeah. put my work into it? Yeah. I, I think that's very much a mix between one, because like doing game, digital games, which is what, what I think we've all done before, and Keegan's class was kind of nice because it had game kits where it was like, oh, we have physics, we know how, and you know, we have gravity, we'll move from point A to point B. Everything was This given. is very, yeah, this is like, it's a very soft core ideas of how do we, what ideas are we going to go with, all this, but also just getting started. Because mm -hmm. before it was just a whole bunch of ideas going, we had a lot of great ideas, you know, whether it was fantasy ideas, there was cartoony ideas, realism ideas, and I don't think I ever would have imagined that it would take us here, but I'm very mm -hmm. happy that it took us here. So, because now it's just like, oh, we don't like this, well, let's throw this idea in there. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's given weight, it's given a lot of weight to our art, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, and not only that, but like, as Sean was saying, we've gone through so many things and so many different ideas and come to this point, so this point really means a lot. And now, because we're artists, it's important that we're artists, and it's important that we know this workflow for when we work with people like Matt and be able to give them illustrations that mean more than just an illustration or an animatic or things like that. This, everything that we design, everything that we make has to more than just look good, it has to work. We make this something that's real. We make this something that has impact towards something we want to, a narrative we want to talk about. So this class really allows us to to find something we want to tackle, develop the skills to tackle that, get the boundaries to be able to make sure we don't go past what we can take, and then allow us to make that refined attempt at doing something both meaningful and a wonderful experience. So. That goes back uh, into a little bit off topic, but it's something that's very important to address. It's just that, like, people keep asking, like, oh, who did this art for that card? And I've found that almost kind of hard to answer in a lot of mm -hmm. these cases because none of them were just us. You know, people will ask about, like, the Camille card, for instance. Like, I drew that, but it was just so many other people's ideas. Like, literally everyone threw two cents at it. Uh, both the front and the back. All the front was all your thumbnails, Noah, but <laughs> and the back was all these different ideas. And people were like, "Oh, I'll put some keys on there." You know, have it go off the border. Um, you know, it's just a lot of everyone thrown in here. The email cards was all this different talking of like, "What do you see on your computer screen?" A lot when you get that notification. You know, how does it? How does it give you anxiety when you get an email from someone you know is important? So, yeah, and I'm done there because. I would say, um, too, one of the challenges that uh, I guess I faced, and I think we faced together, was sort of almost having to come together and learn a language mm -hmm. of, of what games are, of what you're saying. Like, like you were saying, like a piece of art isn't just a piece of art in the game, it's, it's informing the players of what they should be doing, and, and sort of learning that language, both through symbols and through mechanics, sort of learning how to communicate in a new way. And mm -hmm. I think that was the first thing that we had to sort of tackle, uh, is well, how do we say something without saying it? How do we make everything, that the product itself, stand alone and say what we want to say without it literally being, you know, a picture of a guy going, crunch culture is bad. Yeah. But instead, you know, sort of using these language tricks of the language of games and, you know, game development in order to say something larger. Mm -hmm. So I think that was really sort of, going back to what uh, we were talking about before, the manifesto was a really big part of making sure that we're saying these things, we're talking about empathy, we're talking about you know, player agency, we're talking about decision making, and how are we talking about that, what language we're using. So I think uh, that was the, a real fun challenge, honestly, at the beginning, to sort of take what we already knew and translate that into a new language. One thing that you did, Matt, that was amazing, that got to blow my mind, was on the second day of classes, you came in with um, Adventures in Waterdeep, Something like that. Lords of Waterdeep, Waterdeep. right? Waterdeep. And we got to play through not even a full round, yeah. but we got to see how things got laid out, what the characters were. And then at the end of it, Matt brought something up that I both had thought about and had not thought about at all, which I loved because I didn't think that anybody else would actually think about these things. But he wanted to know what the focus was. Who were you? In Lords of Waterdeep, you're managing an entire like town, entire city, and 
we had these little cubes, these little workers, these are people. And the way that he chunked that down into, you realize that these are people, but do you care? They're just a cube. But then we have other people who are shaped like people, a little meeple. We care about them a little bit more because those related to us specifically. Yeah, which brought up, brought up more significance. And then it came to our character card. That's your character. That's who you care about most. It made me realize that components aren't just, oh, this is pretty. Components are, this changes my entire viewpoint of who I am in a game. And it was just three simple steps, three simple characters, and one question. And I thought that was super cool. So, something to you. with that in mind was just that we decided very early on that we didn't want to want the person that we cared about to be the CEO or the top manager. We wanted to be very middle ground. And we talked about that. That wasn't because the CEO is who causes crunching necessarily. It's not, you know, there's no one that's bad in it. It was just simply that we, there are more people in that middle workflow than the top or the bottom necessarily. Because we even talked about being like a first time intern here at one point. Mm -hmm. But we want, like, that was just where we could get the most relatability. And we want everyone to feel like they were in the middle. We didn't want to we didn't want to give someone this, like, the CEO power. We wanted to have mm -hmm. that power coming at us. So I, I, I feel like that was worth bringing up because you talked about like yeah. who we were and what was important. Our so, viewpoint, yeah, yeah. exactly. Because we have more, we can look at that better than anything else. None of us are bosses, <laughs> you know, or at least I mean, you are, but <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not drawing the picture. So yeah. We got double boss, double boss. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, well, that was phenomenal answer a lot of these questions that I have here. So that was, that was really interesting. Oh, don't we, I'll go early. <laughs> <laughs> We're staying. I also wanted to say that if there are folks um, in the audience that are watching, you are also yeah. welcome to um, field questions um, for these folks uh, if you want to know a little bit more about behind the scenes. Um, in person, because I, I think one of the yeah one of the big questions for me was like how how do you even begin to tackle this abstract thing as like crunch culture? Like how do you begin to design a game? around crunch culture, which you all started to get into, which is understanding like empathy and, and point of view. Um, did you want to speak a little bit more about like some of the some of the challenges of like really, really dissecting crunch culture and understanding it for yourselves? Yeah. Um, and how that gets like embedded in different things that you have in the game? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to check in if either of you two wanted to. Cool. Um, well, I have noticed personally for myself that while making this, Shumani has done a lot of this character art as well as a lot of the designs for on top here. Um, but we all work together on breaking down this mechanic of spending time, spending hours, and these little, what's really important, these negative modifiers. Um, we've gone through so many iterations on different things and how that works. It made me start to realize things I need for myself. One of our old character cards was if a character were to spend their hours in the same job three times in a row, they would get a huge boost and they would have a bonus at completing that job. Or certain characters would feel very, like they would have negative bonuses if they were to start work in the morning, like Stefani here. I started taking that and thinking about how it applies to me and how, I'm, how I experience time, how I am as a worker, and you know, even, even last night, working really late and I was thinking, Gosh, the only way I'm going to get this this project done is if I if I crunch, and if I take the time, and if I don't go to sleep and I finish it. And then I took a moment and and got some some help in reminding myself that, am I going to make anything I care about if I'm up late and I do this? Is it even going to get done? It's not. <laughs> okay, I will take the L. I'll go tell my professor I'm sorry I couldn't get it done. That didn't happen. I got to tell my professor, hey, this is something I care about. I'm going to work harder on it. And they're like, go for it. Thank you for doing that, by the way. I'm happy that you, that you survived that <laughs> I'm night. alive <laughs> now because I, because I took sleep, because you I care about myself. Keep Noah alive. We need him. Yeah. Know who you are as a worker. Know what you need as a person. I will say that this whole process is, has sort of this strange meta level over it where you're making a game about making a game and you're playing a game about making a game about making a game. Yeah. So there's really all these levels where like at some times while every once in a while I'll sit back and, and look at everyone, look at this and it's just like the you know, the difference between like the game and reality are starting to blur. And I think um I think that's becoming a good thing because as you can see, um 
you know the you get your uh, the group's like personalities and their yeah. their wants and their thoughts and their opinions are being sort of injected into it subtly. So like the you know this is a this is like a statement in a box where you have six people all you know being able to speak at once you know without speaking at all, which I think is a really really cool. So it's like I said, sometimes like super odd to look back and, and be like, all right, we're, we're, we're doing what we're talking about and we're talking about what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Which is, uh, you know, a little bit trippy, but also really cool, I think. I think it's really, uh, really fun. Yeah, I think of all games, this one is just a very good to be meta, because again, like mm -hmm. this, this past two semesters and like all of my uh, Venn diagramming friend circles has been, has had a lot of people that went through a lot of crazy burdens and I've had to watch a lot of them go through it and I went through some of it myself. So it's almost like cathartically, is that the right word? Telling, like telling that, those stories in a very interesting way. And on top of that, it's also like, I keep thinking like my dad a lot actually because he had to work a lot of late nights and everything. I remember him like, like a lot of the things where it's like, oh, you know, you had to work hard to get the money to pay for your family and all, all this stuff. And it's, it's weird, like, because I'm at a stage in my life where like, I'm thinking of that in a very different way than what I did when I was five. So it, it's because even though like he he wasn't a game developer or anything like it again it's, this is something that we're looking at from our perspective because we make games we make art but it's something that everyone deals with and like you no know, saying like everyone deals with crunching differently what I consider crunching might not be crunching for you or someone that's worked in the industry longer you know I don't I like staying up late I don't like waking up so if I work till five a.m. that's fine as long as I don't sleep till eleven yep. mm -hmm. but other people they need that very hardcore I'm sleeping at eleven I'm waking up at eight proper time schedule so the difference between yeah. Stefani and Tyrone mm -hmm. yep. so I definitely think there's lots of layers of irony <laughs> in what we're doing about yeah. making a game about making a game the amount of times that we've crunched <laughs> to make our crunch culture game but I also think there's lots of learning that's coming from it as a result because we're thinking more about mm -hmm. what goes into making a game and while making a game and what we can do to be better ourselves, which in turn adds more to the game. It's yeah. a lot of intertwining. God, the beams are crossing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If Actually, the multiverse implodes, we're sorry. Yeah. No, oh, not only this, but like, Working on this game, working on as a team, as a small team that actually works, Jordan especially as a leader, I've actually finally gotten to like re-experience and grow again in a team setting where I care about the people I work with and I feel like they care about me. And I feel like I've grown as a leader as well and as a worker who can start delegating tasks, stop trying to take everything on, on his own and let other people do things and do what amazing things they do. So this this team, I would say, has probably been one of the more important, yeah. one of the more important classes I've taken at CCAD in total. I feel um, I would love to see it continue and grow larger and larger because I, I, I'd say we can all say this is probably yeah. a really good experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, want to stop. Oh. I think I'll uh, call out Professor Keegan in the back to talk a little bit about that. that Keegan, a lot of her, uh, Keegan, her guidance Keegan, and also Keegan, 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 Keegan. 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 <laughs> A real uh, dedication to making sure that this class, you know, isn't just a class, but it's emulating a, a studio experience. And that we're going to have, you know, we're going to have a group of students who are going to be ready to go out there and have a published game as part of their portfolio and really um, do wise things. And I have to say that uh, as much as I love taking credit for things, this is a lot of this is uh, Professor Keegan's brainchild. And, I don't think any of us would be here without her. So you got me my first job. You two did a thing. You two did a very big thing here. Well, um, wow. Okay. If we can make her cry, we can spin. So thanks. It's no spin. It's, uh, it's, well, it's a it's, you know, it's it's like really exciting to be in an environment where you can like have an idea and be like, I'm just gonna do it because I know that the talent around me is is willing to take it on um, and take it on full force. You know, and that, that was a really exciting thing about um, going to Origins. So, you know, first year got here and went to GDEX, loved it. I mean, the community here is so fire. Like, there's just so much energy in this city to do cool things. And um, so going to Origins opened up my eyes to, you know, I'm a huge nerd and I can't go on Kickstarter because I'll spend too much money on board <laughs> games and card games because they're just as much art as digital games. So pretty much can't go on Steam either. 
Yeah. <laughs> Banned. But, um, As a publisher, please continue going. Yeah. 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 You know, um, but it was really eye-opening to see the tabletop industry here in Columbus and really realize that there is so much untapped like potential there for what exposure students can have to as much creative energy that happens there as in digital. Um, and, and they influence each other. There's so many parallels between what you do in tabletop to what happens in the digital like spectrum of things. So, you know, for me going to Origins and, and, and meeting Matt, I just, you know, it was like, how do we talk about healthy creativity and how do we talk about crunch culture, which is a big conversation in the industry right now. A lot of people are really struggling with this work-life balance because it's a work of passion. And <laughs> I sat down with coffee with Matt and I was like, let's make a game about it. And I was like, well, <laughs> all right, cool. Um, and then, you know, it just kind of like went from there where I started just talking to folks, talking to students. I mean, like, would you want to even do this? Like, mm -hmm. would you, would you want to take a class where you do that? And to be honest, like, you know, they, there's as much uh, faith coming from me as there is from the students willing to show up and give it 200%. And they have done nothing but show up every day and, and to take the challenge. Um, it, it takes a lot to sit in front of, of two practitioners um, and a practicing designer publisher and have, you know, wrenches constantly thrown um, and dodging them, um, but then actually coming out on top. And, and with an entire style and brand to boot mm -hmm. um, in eight weeks. It, it speaks for itself. So it's really just an honor to be seeing all of this. Um, we have a logo. Yeah, look at that logo. So, yeah. That's a yeah. slick logo. Like, I love that. And, yeah, and, yeah, yeah like, yeah, uh, what? Y'all like, did that today? I was like, yeah, I mean, what? <laughs> You know, being in a Discord about... channel and just watching all of the like concept oh, yeah. work and all that, it's pretty exciting. That was a stuff. lot of images um, within like three hours. It doesn't happen in other classes either. Like no. this is the no. first time I've seen yeah, where somebody's yeah. like, "Let me go for it," and they yeah. just go for it. Somebody's like, "Let me help you out." You all right. <laughs> Thank you, Keegan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, made the Professor Keegan. <laughs> okay. Sorry, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> I had a, well, I wanted to. We have a few more minutes if y'all are okay with fielding a couple more questions. If that's oh no! Cool. Yeah. Um, so, with what have been some of the most exciting parts about building the art, like making the art, doing the art stuff? So we talked a lot about design stuff. I'm going to shuffle over here. My favorite thing about the art has been saying Chumani handle it and Chumani <laughs> doing it times the ten. The fact that I didn't have to do it. Yes. <laughs> Score. Also, Sean. A really exciting part about doing the art was just how everyone bounced off each other. And, like, mm -hmm. like we were just saying, like, how things got put in Discord, and we were like, oh, let me just take that file and make it, like, add some stuff to it. And mm -hmm. everything just got better and better every time someone took it and added to it. Yeah. Like, that logo that we have right now was just, like, us talking for a little bit. I was like, okay, I got a sketchbook. I'll throw some ideas out. And... And I was like, let's let's try that one. I did a quick line art of it. Shumani then just blew it out of the water all the more. And then Jordan took it and like changed the text up because we had this idea for this cool perspective with the text, and we thought, oh yeah, that's the best way to do it. That's really cool and unique. But then Jordan, I don't even know what that font was that she used. It was perfect. The way, the way it was, just like instead, like and she was so concerned. Everyone was so concerned when we like change each other's art because it's you know we all care when we draw something because. <laughs> It's what we do. We're spending you know, all this money to learn how to do it. But, you know, everyone here has been so polite and kind about it. You no know, one just says, I'm going to take this and I'm going to completely butcher what you've done. They say, I'm, I would like to take this. I think I have an idea. And we're like, yeah, go for it. And it still has the semblances of what was there before, but it is just better. And you look at it and you're like, this isn't, again, it's the idea of it's not just my pencil on paper anymore. It's so many people's ideas. Mm -hmm. It's, it's become a process even where one of my biggest struggles as an artist here is that I take the longest to do the artwork in my whole department uh, in terms of getting projects done because I have a very more realistic style. It's painterly and it takes a long, long time. And it's hard for me to do things that are fast and get things quick. But then I have Sean who will pump something out immediately and give me a concept. I'm like, oh yeah, I can work with that. And there's Shimani who cleans it up wonderfully and makes it look so fantastic. Each of these character cards done in a lightning quick speed that I can't fathom, and I love that. Jen, who's able to take everything that we do 
and place it up and make it so that it's visually exciting for people to see online. Cat here who can take anything, any concept we talk about, write it down and have it as something that we can look at physically and understand, we can look back to and get what's going on. Six we pages Six pages of notes from that one talk. <laughs> and perfectly organized as well. And then as the slowest person in my department, I can now go back to these character cards and these cards here and I can do what I love, which is touching things up and making it look finished and making it look pretty. And I can do that because I have a team. Yeah, we, we all fill in, in each other's weaknesses really, really well here. Um, and actually, it, it reminds me of something that one, you know, your partner actually said, because not only has Matt come by, but he brought his team uh, the other day and we were able to get all this like amazing mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. And they gave a very good piece of advice, which was simply, if you can't do something in a certain amount of time, don't don't fib and say that you can do it just to make someone happy. Because in the end, we're all much happier if I say, listen, I have family emergency, a prior commitment, whatever's going on. I just don't have the time. Yeah, I, just, do it. I have five other classes I gotta worry about, sorry. And everyone's, because again, we're all in a very similar boat here, you know, different se you know, senior, junior, sophomore, whatever. So it was like, hey, I get it. Shimani, can you do this instead of Sean? Totally. Like, there's enough people here that if I mess up, which I try not to, but life is life, when we can all just really make it better because we're all more than some of our parts. Like some of our parts plus, plus five. <laughs> and then we have Jordan who says no, which is perfect because yes. we need Jordan to is from, you. from you very well. Um, take no, a step back no and think about it. No, but. Not just no. No, but here's an alternative. Professor Stokes. Also, to the person in the audience, the logo is in the bottom right-hand corner of our, our current. It's Lucky Draw, the yeah. cards. That's not, that's not a Twitch thing that we found. That's us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We did that, like, there today. Is, today. There, is no, there is no default art on this page right now, which I think is amazing. Like, you know, we see Twitch streams and stuff all the time, and so much of it is, like, you know, clip art that you find. Like, oh, you know, we'll, we'll kit bash, which is awesome. Like, people can make something out of anything, but this is all stuff that, you know, I've either helped make or watch be made by, you know, people who like, you know, these two have been my friends for a while now, and these two, you know, are becoming my very, very good friends, and, you know, I, I give a crap about all y'all, so. Wow. You my friend now. I, I, think that, <laughs> awesome. uh, I think that is a great way to, to sort of wrap things up for everybody, yeah. you guys, an excellent, With excellent job French. this evening. So let's do another round yeah. of applause for everybody. Gamers high five! Gamers yeah. high five! Uh, the real crunch was the friends we made along the way. So yeah. I'm going to close down the studio and say thank you for our audience who stuck, uh, stuck Thanks, through guys. with us. Howdy. Um, and we're super excited yeah. for the next session. And so be sure to check our social media. And we'll have a whole other so game by then. Learn oh, about the schedule and check out our next live play session. But you'll also be able to join us for um, Chroma. And if you actually swing by, you'll get an exclusive copy of 100, uh, 100 Hours nice. to Watch. So we'll look forward to seeing you all there, and good night. Good night.